They broke the physics laws. Okay, maybe I played into it this time, but the original video was not meant to be clickbaity and the YouTube trolls were furious. So here we are. We are talking about semi-direct fermions, which are a quasi-particle that act like they have mass when they move in one direction and act massless in the other. Some people got very upset when I said this breaks the rules of physics. It does. But that doesn't mean that it completely breaks all of physics and all of physics is wrong. That just means we found an exception to something that we thought was universal. We've always assumed that mass is a fixed property in all directions, but the semi-dark fermion challenges that because it has mass in one direction and acts massless in another. This is huge because this is a fundamental assumption in condensed matter physics. Breaking a rule doesn't mean the whole system collapses. If I run a red light, I broke the law, but that doesn't mean all traffic lights suddenly go away or all traffic laws are null and void. Physics is still very much a thing. So you can breathe, physics still exists. We just found something that broke a law. And another point, prediction doesn't necessarily mean reality. Scientists did predict this quasi-particle using mathematical models, but predicting something just means that you think that it might happen. That doesn't mean it's a sure thing. Again, with the red light, if somebody thinks I'm a bad driver and thinks I'm gonna run a red light, I'm not a lawbreaker until I run that red light. So I stand by what I said. Semi-direct fermions are breaking the rules. They are breaking the laws of physics. The same way that if I always ran red lights, I would be a lawbreaker. So with that out of the way, let's answer some more questions about these physics lawbreakers. I'm trying to put as much science as I can in just a few minutes, so we're gonna need multiple parts. Part two is gonna cover direction, mass, weightlessness, and time travel. I'll see you there.